Right, who said it doesn't get cold on a narrowboat? But we have been away for two days. Did we not have the Ebus patch come on while we were away? No. No. But, well, it is three degrees outside, but yeah, we've got the fire on, we've got the Ebus patch on. We are hoping to get some kind of timer so we can set the heater to come on. Not a timer, sorry, an app such as Nest, um, that we can get the heater to come on before we get on the boat. We should look into it. Uh, yeah, oh, we're also thinking because we're in a marina of getting an oil filled electric radiator and just having it on low in the boat for when we go away or if we're out for the whole day, and that'll so hopefully keep the boat a bit warmer than we this. We already have one, don't we? Yeah, oh yeah, we have one. Just need to get it from the parents. <laughs> I look a bit chilly. No special effects were added to this video. Anthony's lighting a fire. You cold, Anthony? It's freezing. Not too bad. So. You right, Dexter? Cold and wet. We'll soon be dry and warm, don't worry. Oh. Back to pop my sun is on, it's very bright today. Well, thanks for all your lovely comments about last week's vlog. Our subscriber numbers are going up, which is nice. And we booked our tickets for Crick. We're going on the Friday, Saturday and Sunday, so hopefully you'll be there too. Can't wait, to be honest. Can't believe how cold it is today. There's ice on the ground, still frost, even though it's like half past 10 now. We need to try and get some logs today for the boat. We're running the engine for an hour. Because we've not run the engine for a couple of weeks. <sighs> Blimey, it's cold. We may have a ride out to our old marina, Fetland's Wharf today, just to see if we can catch up with our friends. We've not seen them for a while. That'd be really nice. <sighs> right. Can't wait to get in the boat and get warm by the fire. I thought it was time we gave the stove a clean. It's looking a bit minging, to be honest. So we've got this Dirt Buster stove cleaner that we've ordered. We're not being paid to promote this at all. Anthony just found it online. It's actually made in Whitefield in Manchester, which is cool. So that's your Dirt Busters cleaner. You've got to wait till the fire is cool. So the fire's been not, it's not been lit all day. It's quite a warm day, a mild day anyway. And we have had the Eber spatula on, so it's not freezing on the boat. I've also spent a couple of hours on our friend's boat having a coffee. Don't tell Anthony, he thinks I'm busy cleaning the boat. <laughs> um, so yeah, Dirt Buster stove cleaner that you've got to spray on your fire and uh, on the exterior of your stove and then wipe it off with a cloth. And then we've got the stove polish that you wipe on with a cloth afterwards. And um, Anthony also ordered some stove glass cleaner, so we'll see how well this does. Because we've tried a few different things, including the rough ish side of a sponge scourer and that seemed to do the job better than anything to be honest with a bit of windowing or window cleaner glass window cleaner um i'll show you the state of the stove and we'll see how it looks like when i've finished well anyone that's got a stove on a narrow boat you will know that because of the movement of the boat you will get leaks i did seal around the chimney with um, the proper silicon sealer um <laughs> i'll check the name of it but yeah it was the correct stuff that i used it does say to wear gloves, so as you can see. I'm wearing a glove. <laughs> and then this is the actual stove polish. Well, I'm quite impressed with that so far. Uh, just leave it to dry and then heat your fire as normal. It forms a dry protective coat. I think I may have to leave, lift that chimney a little bit just to get under there. So with the stove glass cleaner it says applying circular motions with a clean cloth. It is an irritant to skin so it's best it's advised to wear gloves or at least thoroughly wash your hands after use. Um, let it dry and then buff off with a cloth, damp cloth. Well I'm so impressed with that. Look at that. I 
I'm hardly using any pressure at all so it's not scratching the glass. Mega impressed. So I think you'll agree the fire looks a lot cleaner and it's getting chilly now so I definitely need to light the thing. Yeah look how much clearer that glass is, can't believe it. Anthony what are you up to? I'm making soup with the leftover stuff we've got in the fridge before we go away. Oh. That's why I've not even done my hair because I'm waiting to have that cut as well. Uh, your hair or your hair? Uh... Uh, well, I did that so you'd understand what I was saying. <laughs> With your wiggities. Uh, he's always got a witty comeback, haven't you, Anthony? Yeah. <laughs> You're cutting up your eats, though. Yeah, so it could have been vegetarian, okay, we but we had some treats all left, so I thought I might as well throw yeah. that in as well. And tomato. So don't tell me it's just tomato and chorizo soup, if I'm going to ask what it is. It's spicy tomato and red lentil soup. Oh, nice. So it's onion, garlic. Red lentils, tomatoes, cumin, coriander, uh, garlic, chorizo and uh, chicken stock. Oh, I could have done that if I didn't know it was that simple. And it just gets blitzed at the end, but I'll put the chorizo in last so that doesn't get blitzed. Uh, yeah, he's good, isn't he? And a lucky. Got some for Dexter. Oh. Are we going to see them wild eyes, Dexter dog? Wild eyed Dexter. That's it. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. He's sniffing. Needs to wash his hands, doesn't he? That's Pendle Hill in the distance. Not a bad view at all, is it? We're at the coffee house in Skipton, one of our favourite places to get coffee and cake. It's always busy, but we managed to find a table today. And we're joined with our bio friends, Steve and Maxine. Uh, there we are. <laughs> From Never Too Late. Yes. Yeah, that's it, yeah. And what are we eating? Yorkshire Rask? Yorkshire Rask. I'm not Yorkshire Rask. I thought you said a rock. A rock. <laughs> it's a rock. A rock. It's a rock. It's a two glasses of wine. Oh, millionaire shortbread. Yeah. In Yorkshire. She'd have had Yorkshire Rask. <laughs> <laughs> Looks nice. Right, well, in typical fashion, rather than having a day of relaxing, we're dashing around because uh, Anthony's had a call from the hospital and they'd like to see him today. Got an hour to get there. Um, you telling them why, Paul? Yeah, well, I explained earlier that right. um, you, you were giving assaulted me, me. You were giving me lip, so <laughs> gave you a thump. Yeah, yeah, like that's ever gonna happen. Um, you yeah. sounded like Victoria Wood, though. Did I? What? <laughs> giving me lip. Ever happened? Ever happened? <laughs> <sighs> so, with fingers crossed, because we're supposed to be flying abroad in five days. Um, and obviously, <laughs> Anthony has got a detached retina, and they need to. What would they need to do? Uh, well, it depends. There's two treatments. Well, there's three. Either laser, gas bubble, which I can't fly with, mm. or silicon oil, which right. you can fly with. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. What's the chances? Anthony reached for a glass of water just as I pull back the quill and thump in the eye on Christmas Day. So that wasn't a good start. Merry Christmas. I know. Have we been dashing around? The friends that we should have had Christmas dinner with got COVID, so we couldn't go there. So I went to Anthony's mum's. And Boxing Day, we drove to my mum and dad's. We've just never stopped, have we? No. And I think we're feeling like more than ever we need a break. A little lie on the beach oh, for a few days. Can't wait. That'd be nice. Fingers crossed. I think we'll cry if our flight's cancelled or the holiday's cancelled, won't we? Yeah. Uh, failing that, we'll have to chuck some sand on the floor of the boat and, a sunbed. and spend a week on a sunbed. <laughs> you can't keep looking at our pasty faces, we're just getting whiter and whiter. <laughs> we used to go abroad a couple of times a year, didn't we? And we'd always have a nice colour. I did offer to slap your cheeks to put colour in them. Yeah, you did. It didn't. Well, I'm back at the old woodlands by where we used to live in Mossbank, St. Helens. Dexter's at the groomers today and Anthony's at the eye hospital. I've dropped him off. 
uh, he had some checks at the opticians around December time. As you know, I accidentally punched him in the eye. It sounds terrible, doesn't it? But yeah, on Christmas day of all days. Were you off Dexter? You after the groomers? Oh, after the dog groomers, you need it. Look at your coat. Come on then. Come in. Get it on. Come on, lad. Where are we going? Come on this way. Let's have a look at your Dexter. That's smarter. You've been the groomers. Oh, you smell nice. <laughs> Looking fast. He's ah, a good boy. Much better, isn't it? So we've just been to the hospital. Um, they reckon everything's okay, but they want to see me again in six to eight weeks' time because they said that detached retina can, can occur later. So they want to just make sure that that's not occurred. Um, well, the good news is you can fly. Yep, I can go on a holiday, which is great. Um, my eyes currently look like. Um, you can't off puss in boots, they've been dilated, so my pupils are absolutely massive. I can't really see very well. Um, but yeah, really good news. Camera's over there, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> so we've just um, been to mum and dad's, yeah. dropped some stuff off. We're having to go back to the boat now to get our clothes and toiletries to then go all the way back, pretty much to where we've just been, yeah. to friends that we're spending New Year with. Uh, tonight. Tomorrow's vlog. Oh, oh yeah. Finished, yeah. yeah. Um, it's been so busy during Christmas and various hospital visits and opticians. Well, you didn't punch me in the face. So. <laughs> um, Not deliberately. <laughs> so yeah, we're we're um, we're gonna have a good evening with them. They're the guys that we're actually going away with as well. So and can we just say it's well, 15 degrees Celsius? It's the warmest New Year's Eve on record. Yeah, apparently so. My dad says, but my dad's prone to exagger exaggeration, yeah. so we don't know if it's true. So, yeah. What were you going to say? Uh, we're going to have to do a lateral flow test as well before we go oh, out. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know that. We've done one every day over Christmas. Well, and that's the sensible Correct thing to do. Yeah. And responsible thing I to know, do. I know, I know. Who'd have thought it's like an everyday thing? Well, something we've not mentioned before, obviously you can't have suitcases on your narrowboat because of the limited space. So Anthony's bought this. It's a wheeled duffel bag that folds down into this tiny bag. Do you want to pick it up, Anthony, so they can see the scale of it? Yeah. It looks massive now. <laughs> it's that small. Yeah, it's very light, isn't it? And yeah. we just put it in the tall cupboard it's where got the wheels as well, isn't it? So you can pull it. Yeah, it's um, a really big case, yeah. isn't it? I think I'll have to get one of those. We're off to Grand Canaria. Uh, we're at the Manchester Airport. And look at this. We've never seen anything like it, have we? Only two of us on the whole boat. Well, four, four of, of us. Yeah. Ignore me in my shorts. This is our room. And we're used to a small double bed. Look at the size of this. I think that's a super king size, isn't it? Marvellous. <laughs> and I think that bright thing in the sky is called sunshine. I've seen it for a while. Uh, it's our last evening. I'm looking a nice and colour out. Where are we, Anthony? Uh, Pizza oh. y Flauta. You didn't just look up there, did you? Oh, <laughs> so, yeah, it's our final night of the holiday. We've had a really nice time. Have you two had a nice time? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been lovely. It's been really nice. And we're looking forward to going back to the UK. No. No, oh. nice and warm. Well, but we're looking forward to seeing Dexter. Maybe we should be able to go there and bring Dexter. I think we'll have to get the pilot to drive some, but it's always about minus two back home. Oh yeah, they've had ice back home. Mm.
right next to He's not impressed that we left him at all. Uh, unfortunately, we've had a brilliant time. Uh, enjoyed the sunshine and the warmth. We're back to about seven degrees, which is better than it has been. I believe it's been about minus one while we've been away some days. Um, unfortunately, I'm not well. Tested, yes, tested last night and I'm positive for COVID. Uh, thankfully, Anthony's negative because you probably know Anthony has asthma and it would affect him a lot more than it affects me. Don't feel great, just feel a bit fluey. And I was coughing loads in the night. Anyway, we're on our way back to the marina. I will have to self isolate on the boat. Anthony's going to have to walk Dexter and do the shopping. So, yeah, speak to you soon. Well, we're back in the galley. We're back from our holiday. We've cut out booze, haven't we? Yep. <laughs> um, do you want to tell our viewers why? Because we're putting a lot of weight. <laughs> <laughs> Speak for yourself. Um, we have we've put on about twenty pound each over the year we've been living on the boat. And Anthony, what are you making? Uh, oh. Leek and potato soup. Oh, nice leek and potato soup. All the ingredients fresh and made from scratch. Oh, can you explain briefly how you've done it? So you saute leek, onion, potato and put a, um, a disc of wax proof paper and then sort of sort in with the lid on and then you add stock and you boil it and then you pure, the puree it and then you put cream and milk in it which isn't the best healthiest thing but it's actually it's not that calorific to be honest and then salt and pepper to taste nice how long has this taken you so far about 20 minutes oh, i'm starving <laughs> So we got back from holiday on Saturday. It's only Monday, Tuesday. It's Tuesday now. I'm still testing positive for COVID. I thought I was getting better. I slept a lot better last night, but ah, proper coughing yesterday, all evening and today. So hope the cough goes away soon. It's driving me mad. I don't know, it's driving Anthony. Driving me mad. It's driving Anthony mad as well. Can't help it. I've got a condition. <laughs> Or a big thank you to our lovely neighbour Jill, who's done the shopping for us today, because she knows I'm self-isolating. Thanks, Jill. I've just eaten that soup, and what can I say? I've got to admit that is the nicest tasting soup I've ever had. Lovely. More of that, please, Anthony. Were you off, Anthony? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going moving the boat onto Canal side. Oh, is it a long journey? Um, about 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> I can't believe you filmed me with my hair like this. Oh, you've not had a shower yet, have no, you? I look like a Marty from Back to the Future. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're moving the boat because we've got great neighbours either side of us. We're going to miss Phil and Sarah, but you don't see your neighbours that often. And you look out the window. Who's Sarah? Her Who's name's Sarah? Ruth. <laughs> You're not going to miss her that much. <laughs> we're going to miss our neighbours. Uh, but. Yeah, we don't see them that often, and you can look out. I'll, I'll show you. Look out the window, and the boat's there. That's how close it is. And where we're moving to is going to be nice because you look out the window, and you can outside, so all you see is trees. Well, ignore the noise in the background, lad. He's pushing his teeth. Should we just wait for me to press record? Anyway, we've moved the boat, we've come out of the marina and we've actually moored canal side. So we're still officially on the marina. We've got hook up to electric and we've got a water point nearby. But it just feels so much better because you're not cramped into the marina. We're actually canal side. Um, well, we've got the canal over that side. I'll show you what I mean. It just feels great to be out. So this is a view straight out of the duck etch. Well, it's Anthony's last day off. He's back in work tomorrow. He's not too chuffed about that, but how long have you been off now, Anthony? Three weeks? Um, well, it should have been three weeks, but mm. then I was ill, wasn't I? So yeah. four weeks. Yeah, nearly four weeks. I think he's probably going to get lazy if he doesn't go back to work. <laughs> well, 
What day? Oh, it's Friday. I'm getting ready for my shows tomorrow. I was out really early with Dexter this morning, about um, seven o'clock, half past seven. He settled in front of the fire on the sofa. I'll show you Dexter in a minute. It's a beautiful day. I didn't think it was going to be, but the sun's shining and I've just spent uh, about an hour doing some editing and also setting up our channel page on YouTube, which we're really excited about. We've had a lot of members asking if we have a channel page and could they become members? So we've set that up. I've been meaning to do this for a while. Uh, yeah, but you can get behind the scenes photos, videos, and also extra channel perks and badges as well. I shall show you outside. It's absolutely gorgeous. Let's have a look. That's our view of the marina. What am I doing? Busy editing videos. <laughs> So we can Dexter. <laughs> you cozy. I think I spoke too soon. It was lovely. Now it's hailstoning. Well, oh, Dexter, you're not so pleased, are you, that I went outside without you? You waited for your walk. I'll tell you in a bit. Beautiful. What? <laughs> do you want a treat? What do you want? Well that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It's completely free and you won't miss out on any future videos. Keep your comments coming. Have a great week.